Hello again, and uh, well, the World Skills 2011 is over. The yesterday there was the ending ceremonies, and uh, well, Finland got eight medals. I don't remember how many silver and how many bronze, but. What I do remember was that there were no gold medals so far, so... Uh, we got the seventh place at the total medal amounts from the all countries who attended the contest, so... Uh, good result. I'm cheering the guys who worked hard at the contest and brought some glory to the Finland, even if it was a small glory, but we are happy. So yeah, now that the contest is over, I can finally show this uh, my former teacher's uh, contest uh, candidate work piece. Uh, it was supposed to resemble, uh, I don't know, uh, some kind of uh, tool holding chuck or something like that for some kind of uh, milling machine or something like that. I don't know. I didn't ask anything deeper. I just uh, took the drawing and started master cam and uh, at the end of the day this was the result and nice threats it was um, if I remember correctly it was M30 M sorry I know it doesn't make any sense my language such a poor English. I hope I can speak better at the sometime from now. So, but it's supposed to be M30, and the pitch was 1.5 millimeters. And there's some C axis uh, face milling uh, C axis. Uh, uh, what do I say? Cylindrical drilling milling. Is it side milling? If this is face milling, it could be. Uh, the first thing was I machine this side, change it in the CNC lathe from, to hold from this part and make this other side finished. There was a M95 thread with 1.5 millimeter pitch on the top of here. I don't know if you can see anything. Uh, probably not, but it's there. I guess it's just too shiny to show any kind of thread. Now you can see something. Very little. And here's something what I don't understand. The CNC lathe that I was using, the MCOMAX Tron 65, it got some kind of a kid's disease and decided that the finishing tool for the outer contour was uh, almost 20 millimeters below the correct number and that surprises me because I didn't touch the settings I had uh, measured read the tool before and it made just perfect nothing was wrong and all of a sudden it took giant bite out of this side so this part ended up in the bin and I just asked that 
can I take this home for paperweight? And the teacher said that, sure, go ahead, but don't show it to anyone in public before the 10th day of, is it October already? Yes. So now that it's that day, I can safely show this part. It doesn't anymore break any secrets. So, yeah, here on this side, there was a little bit of inside turning. The other side had some too. There was a little angles and grooves in there. And on this end, there was also the face milling operation. On this test part, it I mill it, it milled it too shallow, so in the final piece it went down to that angle piece, which can probably be seen here something. And uh, yeah, so supposed to come the shape like this, some kind of a free side. Yeah, and for the most surprise, the CNC lathe worked correctly with Mastercam, which was a real surprise because the codes that the, the Mastercam put out were very, very different from what I used to write with hand. So. In the end, it was a nice experience, and now it's probably over for the turning side. I'm beginning to practice my skills with the CNC milling center and master camp, so I hope to get some good videos from that too. But Here's what we have in a moment, and we'll see you next time. Oh, bye.